Hello guys, we are still talking about what is going on, what is trending in Nigerian politics. Uh, greetings to you wherever you are. It's a beautiful Tuesday morning, uh, the 11th day in the month of July 2023. Okay guys, I have this uh, video of Asari Dokubo. Of course, Asari Dokubo, um, ever since um, Tinibu was sworn in as the president, uh, Asari Dokubo has been... Uh, in the limelight of uh, the social media. I mean, he comes on live broadcast almost on a daily basis. Okay, some time ago, Asari Dokubo visited um, Tinibu and then um, it sparked a lot of reaction after visiting Tinibu at the State House that is in Aso Rock. Asari Dokubo addressed the press, um, you know, sitting down uh, in a press room you know, addressing the journalists and so on. I mean, it's a lot of reaction. Where Tinibu is supposed to be sitting to address the journalists, Asari Dokubo walked into the press conference room, sat down and addressed the journalists. I mean, it sparked a lot of reaction, but that is by the way. Now, Asari Dokubo is trying, I don't know how controversial Asari Dokubo is because uh, we all know that he supported Tinibu, so he have to say whatever he wants to say, you know, just to draw the attention of Tinibu himself. Well, everybody says Asari Dokubo is looking for a contract, the same contract that um, Tom Polo has. Um, he's looking for that same contract, if Tinibu will give him uh, the same contract. But however, let me share this video uh, for you guys. What Asari Dokubo uh, says about the ongoing petition of Peter Obi at the tribunal. Uh, whatever, if you have anything to contribute uh, with what Asari Dokubo says, put it down in the comment section below. Our media, our legal team, they go. When the case is over, they come home, the legal team, our lawyers, and this is outside the lawyers. There was no case. In fact, what the respondent would have done was to submit to have a no case submission. A no case submission. Because they pleaded nothing. They didn't bring the facts that the elections were leaked. They did not plead it. They brought a mathematician. They are not telling the people the truth. They brought somebody who was a candidate of Labour Party. You see, our reporter, who was a candidate of Labour Party, that was a former staff of Amazon. They brought an ad. I'm telling you the weakness. They brought, they brought an ad core staff of INEC. So in fact, there was no case. It should have been a no case submission. Everybody who just had walked away. But they are lying to their people that they even presented the case. Where are they? Did they dispute the result? Did they compute the result to deduct from the result? I mean, Bola Tinibu, this is the score of. Uh, uh, OB, this is the score of Artiku. These are the rig votes of Artiku. They, 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 they deduct it. Uh, they had the vote that was not added to uh, OB for OB to win. And this is it. There was no such thing. In case of uh, uh, Opu is a demo in uh, Enimo. They deducted vote and added the vote. He said, These are lawful vote, is called. They deducted the illegal vote, the votes from other candidates, and added to his own the lawful the votes the court declared as lawful votes to his vote for him to win. There was no such thing in court. Yet they are lying to their members. 
They did not bring aid anything. As you see me, when I go, I'm going to battle. I prepare for everything. So we have our team of lawyers who we'll go to court every day, listen to the cases, come, analyze, write on it, give us the brief, and we read it. So when we are talking of what is going on at the, we are at the tribunal, we know what we are talking about. The other one is that uh, it did not have a certificate. What if, we, if somebody has a certificate? The court has admitted the this thing. The other one is a drug addict. The other one is is, is, is a drug uh, pusher. So all these things were debunked in the court. So what they heard to show the stolen mandate that they were talking about, they never did anything. They never pleaded anything to show that the uh, Sokoto State uh, of this court has wrote Tinibu's court, so so so, Atiku's court, so so so, Konkoso's court, all that, uh, of the lawful vote in Sokoto ought to be 500,000. But Obi was actually, what was recorded to Obi was 5,000. So, and Tinibu lawful vote was supposed to be uh, 100 and something thousand. What was given to Tinibu was 600,000 articles like that. And they, they, they bring it out. That is what the tribunal ought to do. And they now subtract the votes. So where is Obi coming? It's just like this. 419 Forge at Misoma. Immediately we saw it, we stood by it, we said, This is forgery. And she had confessed. She, she did not take credit. She scored 259. She did not, she declared herself. The simplest question any, any sane person should have had was, Who? is authorized to declare a candidate a highest scorer in jam. Is it a candidate or jam? So if jam did not declare this lady, who declared her? This is also the same thing. We're not saying that an evil person cannot score the highest. We're saying that this is evil that has happened. Is the character, characteristic of evil that a 19 years old girl can do this sort of thing? I love her, Tamara. That is what we is doing here. He took that. So, how is he going to jump past Atiku? Atiku 2 did not plead that. So they wasted the time of everybody. They wasted the time of everybody. I think you did not do that. It was a total voyage to nowhere. A total voyage to nowhere. But we give them the benefit of doubt. We give them the benefit of doubt. So they are shouting. This is, they know that they did not present anything that was not it. The law is very clear. The law said it is only INEC that can decide on on, on, on on how it is going to transmit results.
so come in that I next chairman said they are going to travel. It doesn't mean anything. It's not the law. It's not bound by it. It's not bound by it. That he said they are going to transmit the no. The next one is calling to the five percent at uh, Abuja, which falls on its face. No constitution, no democratic constitution will make one set of citizens superior to another set of citizens. The crafters of the law, the intention of of, of, of those who drafted this law clearly demonstrates that in all the sections of the Constitution. 